33 and I never have to work again if I don't want to because I have reached my FI number. Now, if you wanna know what your FI number is, how to calculate it, how to get to it, keep watching this video because I am not one of those accounts that just tells you that you need to do something without actually showing you how to do it. So your FI number is your financial independence number. This is the number that you need to hit an in investment so that you never have to work again. Essentially, this is where your assets will spit off enough income so that you don't have to trade time for money anymore. Now, my plan is a little more complicated than yours needs to be, but essentially I make six figures a year now without working because I implemented these steps. The most simple way to figure out what you need to have in invested is to take your desired annual spend and multiply it by 25. Now this works because of something called the 4% rule and I will explain more about that to you in a minute. But first, an example. Let's say you determine you want $40,000 a year, you multiply that by 25, which gives you a million dollars. Now before you freak out and you're like, Nicole, how am I ever going to save a billion dollars? Know that you are not going to save your way there, you're going to invest your way there. When you invest, you don't have to work as hard because the market does the work for you. For example, if you started at 25 years old investing $50 a week into the stock market, your investments could grow to over $1.2 million by the traditional age of retirement with almost $1.1 million of that being free money. That means over your lifetime, you would have contributed about $100,000, but you would have grown that $100,000 into $1.2 million just by putting it in the right places. It doesn't take a lot of time to do this. You can set up your accounts in a couple of minutes. You can set up automatic transfers, automatic buys. And by doing this, you can lock in your millionaire status in your 20s. Now, what does the 4% rule have to do with this? Essentially, the 4% rule is based on the Trinity study, and it says you can withdraw 4% of your portfolio annually without running out of money. So if you have a million dollar portfolio, you can safely withdraw $40,000 a year. But why isn't there risk of running out of money? Because if the average annual return of the stock market is 10% over the last 100 years, and you're withdrawing 4%, that means technically your account is growing more than what you're taking out. This means there would be a 6% difference between your return versus what you're taking out to live on. Now, a question I get all the time is, Nicole, I don't want to wait until I'm old. How do I get there faster? Now, I talk about more strategies that you can use to have your money now instead of waiting until you're old to get it in our free investing masterclass. If you have not taken it yet, go and grab your spot right now. It's on our website. But essentially, here's a few options. One of the strategies that was integral in me building my millionaire status by 30 years old was real estate. First and foremost, this is because of the use of leverage. Leverage is when you use something smaller to get a bigger result. I utilize this in real estate by using a 5% down payment to buy a much more expensive asset and then making a return on the total asset price, not the amount of money that I put in. A really great way to do this if you're just starting out is house hacking. This is where you buy a property that has multiple units, you live in one unit, and then rent out the others. The monthly rents can help lower your living expenses so that you can invest more, or you could just take the rental income and use that for further investments. I love the strategy if you're just starting out because you can get in with a lower down payment because you're actually living in the property, and it lowers your risk because you are living in the property. To take it one step further, I really like the fix and flip option. This is where you buy a property that needs some love, you go in, you update it, and then you flip it, you sell it for a profit. If I was to go back and start again, I would use a combination of these strategies. So I would house hack, I would move into a house that needed some updates. I'd buy the ugliest house on the street, live in it so that I could reduce my risk. Bonus points if it has another apartment that I could rent out while I was doing this to increase my income. Fix up both units and then sell for a profit. Then I would just roll those profits into another property and continue to repeat the process. However, the reason why I'm such a big advocate for stock market investing is because there are less barriers to entry than there are in real estate. With real estate, the asset is highly illiquid, meaning it's harder to sell. You need more money to get started with your down payment versus the stock market where you could get started with $5 if you wanted to. There's more risk because there are loans involved. And it's not passive like the stock market is. Like the stock market will grow you money while you sleep. Real estate, you need to put in a little bit more effort and work. So if you are an aspiring rich girl who wants to change your financial situation, you want to grow that bank account that works harder than you do, then check out our website. We have a bunch of free trainings available and the opportunity to work with me as your seven figure mentor is open. Let's make 2024 the year you got rich. Trust me, it is so much easier than you think.